everybody, and welcome to another Let's Play of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends Definitive Edition. <laughs> Sorry. Kind of choking on something. Anyways, this is a game series. Dynasty Warriors series is a very famous hack and slash series known for its, uh, well, being taking place during the Three Kingdoms period of China. It's a real historical period there are on the, uh, on 280. Heck, they even have an entire, even in the games, they have an entire, uh, historical, uh, <clears throat> sorry, uh, they have an entire, uh, well, encyclopedia on every single officer in the game, and, uh, every battle, at the, at, like, uh, terms, heck, even a birth calendar, starting from the Big Kingdom's era, basically being based off of that all the way to 2000 and, not, well, basically 2000 and, uh, not 2000, 291. Or, uh, alright, round two, okay, basically two, 280 all the way to, uh, the anti, basically when the Yellow Turn Rebellion started. Or around the start of the era. Oh, I'm going through way, okay. So, this be around, uh, this. So, about a hundred years of, uh... Of war, chaos, and turmoil. Now, I was going through the story mode of this game, and not going through, basically not going through ambition mode. Ambition mode is a side mode that basically is kind of a roguelike kind of mode, where basically you go through many things, basically uh, taking your damage from each things, and eventually getting stronger and stronger things. I will going through the story modes, which there are many. There are five story modes, along with tutorials. Well, technically six, but others could be a collection of missions. But... There is Lubu, which is one that was added in Extreme, the Extreme Legends DLC, basically, or expansion pack. Wei, which is the Kingdom of Wei. Uh, Wei is the is the uh, is the Northern Kingdom or em Empire ruled by Cao Cao and the Imperial Emperor. Wu, which is uh, which is uh, to the east, which is owned by the Sun family and is uh, yeah uh, the Sun family, and then the Shu, which is ruled by Liu Bei to the west. Uh, or the southeast, or what southwest, and then there's the Jin Dynasty, which is the conclusion. Do not play Jin first; you will be spoiled by so many things. Other oh, is all the other kind of characters. The thing in Lubu is Lubu, one of the strongest warriors in the land, and what he was doing during the entire thing during the first twenty or so years of the Three Kingdoms period. But first up, first we'll be starting with in my recommended order. It would be this: you go Wei, Wu, Shu, Lubu, then Jin. So, for, our, for first up first, we're going into Wei. Now, how this Let's Play will go is I'll be going through, basically trying to go through a historical route of, of the entire game. Basically going through the history, going through, uh, not doing the side objectives yet, where those stars are. You do all of them get access to a hypothetical route, which is basically a what-if scenario of what if this people won, or they survived for looked long and they actually did. And, uh... Other things. I'm going to go through historical, and then later, I'll be doing live streams going through each mission with every character, basically going through the histor- the, uh, doing the what-ifs. That's basically it. How this let's play will be going. But this- each story mode is long. Like, at least 25 to 30- to like 40 missions for- for story. Lubu is the shortest of the stories, uh, and heck, that's not even counting these stream legend missions, which are down here. But yeah, uh, and that's done counting the splitting paths and other things and just, yeah, a lot of content. And that's all the other missions. Uh, we don't have any of them unlocked because we have no other characters. So without further ado, let's start with the escape from Luoyang. After failing to assassinate Dong Zhuo, Cao Cao finds himself in trouble. Hold off Dong Zhuo's pursuit and escape Luoyang. Now this will skip some moments in the story, for example, but we'll explain it in a bit. So I'll play on normal mode. The heroes of the age were born from chaos and looked to forge a new era of peace to the land. Near the end of the Eastern Han Dynasty, the Yellow Turban Rebellion threw the land into a period of war and turmoil. In response, numerous heroes rose up to meet the threat. Liu Bei, Sun Jian, and Cao Cao. Cao Cao is among those who answered the call to battle. Cao Cao is the one is the, is the one we focus on currently. Cao Cao participated in the campaign to suppress the rebel Yellow Turbans, and his name became known throughout the land. 
Five years later, Sal Sal was summoned to the capital after the Yellow Turbans was destroyed, by the way. It was Dong Zhuo who had used the chaos to seize the capital and take the Emperor into his custody. That was the real period of China, by the way. At the same time, Sal Sal received a letter for the Emperor himself, which is, by the way, I forgot to mention this, based off the Three, King the Three Kingdoms book. Which is based off of the three kingdom, the actual three kingdom period. You must slay the traitor Dong Zhuo, the tyrannical Dong Zhuo, and the helpless emperor. Two very different sets of eyes were trained intently on Cao Cao. Taking his trusted lieutenants Zhao Dun and Zhao Yuan, Cao Cao set out for Luoyang. Now Cao Cao, Cao Cao is also a Zhao. Uh, his mother was a, a mother or father was a Zhao and basically married into the Cao family. Uh, then there is, there's his cousins, which, yes, these are also his cousins, Xiao Dun, which is his most trusted general, and Xiao Yuan, which is his most successful general, uh, or lieutenants. But for this, I'll be going with the first character that the, that the story mainly focuses on, for though for this, we're picking Cao Cao! Now, before you go into it, you actually can press two, uh, play two players, which is a pretty cool thing about this, about the Warrior series, is that almost every game in the series for nine is two player. So, we have, we have access to a couple weapons. We can select our weapons before we set in the battle. For instance, uh, we have Sao Sao's General Sword, which is a uh, which has access to creating doubles of yourself and attacking together. And also, you can select his other weapon. I'll be giving him the uh, a weapon that's very similar to his old weapon, which was a sword, or uh, hmm, maybe not. Uh, hmm. Let's just give him the the General Sword. Now, the main thing I'm going to say is this: is that. Uh, if the wep the character had a weapon in this game that a previous user had, for instance, like for example, Zhao Dun used to have a ma a uh, a mace. Uh, also, by the way, each character has a name for their weapon. His weapon is a Jian, but uh, which is which is a Japanese uh, not Japanese Chinese sword. Sorry. Anyways, and also there's uh, a couple weapons here, which are uh, which uh, or a couple abilities. These are your abilities you get these to play in the game. For instance, uh, defeating enemy officers, doing certain things, ha having your feet doubled. The main, but all of them are pretty good. You would also get blade types, which is basically, uh, uh, basically if you get a, a certain type of, uh, officer to level 50, you unlock one of these abilities. I, uh, actually got pretty far into this. I got up to here, I think. Or no, it was here. But yeah, that was the weapon skills, which you, uh... Obtain all the master skills for dash dives, dives, and more weapons. But yeah, these are the main ones we're going to be using in the better in the better ones. We have none equipped, so yeah. Also, each character has X, uh, X, the EX attacks, their own individual stats, and shadow sprint. Shadow sprint, you think, is a double jump? No, it's a de it's dash or dive. No, it's it basically uh, it's shadow sprint. I, I don't know if this. But yeah, I'll be going more into it when we actually play the game. Sorry, I love I love this era, and it's kind of one of my hyper fixations. So I kind of just like obsess over it. I'll be also playing the PC version, by the way, so it won't be the high-quality PlayStation 3 version, so models will be a little bit less. In lighting, a little worse. Sorry. I don't have a capture card. Hello. That lady there is Dong... is, uh... That man there is Dong Zhuo, the lady there is Diao Chan, and that guy with the, with the big set of armor is Lu Bu. By the way, I tried to reshade it in order to give it better lighting in, like, shadows. But, uh, Windows, uh, doesn't allow it. Oh, I should give him the spear. That's what I was gonna do. <laughs> ah! I'll be going more into the characters when we actually play as them. Because I do love. I, as I mean, playing every character in this game and unlocking all the best weapons for every character. Which it will involve going through the hard mode uh, special objectives. Which we'll be doing in its own upstream. I'm pretty sure Lu Bu could absolutely destroy Sao Sao. Anyway, Xiao Yuan is a master of the bow, by the way. 
as you can see. We're getting out of here! See, this is what happens. Now there's a secret objective. Kill Lubu. I'm not doing that yet. Lubu will absolutely destroy the also seamless transition to gameplay. Hmm. Anyways, each character has a, basically a string of hits that will increase as you uh, gain HP. But also, each character has some moves. For instance, if you press triangle, you different moves. Some characters have ES attacks, which are unique to them. For instance, Sao Sao has a rain of ice arrows. One, two, three. One, two, three. No, it's one, two, one, two, three. There we are. No, one, two, three. There we are. And then there's the other one, which is the, uh, in the wall, apparently. Which is a, basically a collection of sword slashes. Oh, God, I got crap. Hey, here. Eat that. This is a rest of the, of the uh, heaven, man, and earth's, uh, things, where basically, depending on what weapon you've equipped, certain things change. A lot of times for me, you actually better just keep with the weapon that you, uh, that you're already equipped instead of swap, cost swapping. But, yeah. Also, these things are EHP. Okay. There we are. Each character also has a Musou attack. It, basically, you press the circle button, you engage a cutscene that can, uh, basically, uh, uh, do basically a super move. Uh, Sao Sao, uh, Sao I'll show in a bit when we find the next officer. Also, you probably want to move because Lu Bu is going to break down that gate in a little bit. Also, grab uh, weapons off of enemy officer if they need HP. But yeah, he's going to break that gate very quickly. This is the move, a basically a rate of ice arrows. I feel a lot of change. Okay, we're about to get obliterated. You also have access to a uh, to a rage attack, which we can charge by getting kills and just regular hits. Certain weapons get it faster than others. For instance, Wang Yuanji, a character from uh, from Jin, gets rage mode like crazy, but a character like Shushu or Shuchu won't get it much. Also, you can get certain power ups from taking items off the battlefield. For example, defense ups, uh, attack ups, or speed ups. That basically boosts your speed for, for a little bit. You also have access to a horse. I'm pressing the right trigger button. Or the left trigger. Between ride. This one is called Shadowbringer, which is a, uh... Oh, God! Or, sh or uh... Not Shadowbringer. Uh, it's Shadow something. But it's, it's, it's South South's unique horse. Each of the, the main lords have their own unique horses. Yeah, I probably need to book it out of here. I never understood why they why they didn't make the it's the PlayStation version of it instead of instead of making the PlayStation Three version. But what is nice is the PlayStation Three version still looks pretty good. Just the we, the the the, uh, the PlayStation Four version is freaking beautiful. I, I own I just let you know I own, I own both. I just don't have a capture card to record it. Maybe one day I'll go back and do it, but. Uh, Probably not. South Musso is probably pretty good. Uh, so nice you also do counters if you have the weapon set, and you get a temporary boost on your stats. That's the main reason I just recommend you don't switch your weapon when they change, because you can get this, this boost to do a lot of damage, getting acts to Victory Cry, one of the better skills. Also, this mission, by the way, is an escape map mission. Hey, look! A way through! I think that is a lot there. You also decide to do weapon clashes, basically smash the button, break out, break out. Hmm. The, that 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 meter up there. That meter is a storm. Is I think a storm gauge meter. 
Uh, basically, yeah, Storm Gauge. If you uh, do enough damage and then activate the Storm Gauge, or basically drain it all the way to zero, you can do an attack called a Storm Rush, which can uh, basically do a... Uh, What's it called? Basically, you can do a, st a storm rush, which will basically obliterate the HP of an opponent base uh, by a lot. Anyways, these are Ballista. Ballista will shoot you for a lot of damage. Also, eventually, Lubu will just give up and stop running. This is a full heal for both uh, everything. Also, you can break uh, these. Ah! Ow, I'm getting obliterated. Help, 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 help! Before me. I want to show up the, the Storm Rush before I show up the, uh, the Rage Mode. Now, the Storm Rush system, in my opinion, is not the best. I prefer uh, not having it, if then having it. I understand the purpose of it, but I prefer without it. No, the, the Storm Gauge! Okay, I guess we'll just show this. Press left. I put it on the wrong button. Basically, you get access to a little, like, uh, mode. Basically, you can do whatever you want. Uh, you do more damage, you do, uh, you're faster, you attack faster. And you have access to also, if you press the Muso button, a certain Muso move, which will, uh, basically cause you to dash towards the enemy and do a crap ton of damage. Oh, but that, those, uh, seals will do, uh, will give you full, uh, Muso gauge. But, yeah. Freeze. Also, we leveled up, by the way, which, uh... Oops, sorry. We're level 4 now. After certain amounts of levels, we can get actual new moves. So we actually have access to a new move, actually. No, we don't. Oh, yeah, we do. We have a new uh, finisher to our, uh, to, our, to our 5 of combo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. Now you can get HP. If you're wondering how to get HP and recover that, you can find it off of uh, enemies dropping meat buns or finding even clay pots you can find around the map. Huh? That that lady that that helped us that was that, that was uh that was at Dongto's chamber is helping us escape. Also, this is the storm gauge activation. Mash the button. By the way, you do, and you actually do more. You, well, you attack faster. That's a mighty roar. Nice. But yeah. Also, do uh, things do disappear, so do make sure to grab them. Just deal with them with like this. Yeah. Now we can do. We had equestrian, which by the which equestrian basically makes you do more damage while you're on a horseback. Yeah, that's a level up. Okay, that's uh, what's our full combo now? Did we get any moves? Yes, we did. You know. I'm gonna... So that that lady there is the Chan. So we now have an air. We basically can launch enemies up in the air. Yeah. Uh. Sound. Uh. Turn down this and this. I bet as much as the sound is where soundtrack is awesome. I'm gonna turn it down for the sake of, of uh, listening to the audio. By the way, if they have a unique model, they are playable. Also, unique to this game is and uh, is that every there are no clones. Uh, every character is very different. Has their own moves. Wing and move set. Unlike later games in the series. <laughs> Nine, <laughs> six, <laughs> two. I see. My mission's almost over, by the way.
Oh, just taking the time. Okay, we can do another episode probably after this. That's before me. That next mission is much longer, but I can probably handle it. Now, each character, by the way, has unique dialogue in each mission. That's why I'm going to be going through every mission with every character, just in, in its own live stream after we finish these stories. Boom. Quick learner is uh, my primary tier skill in the game. Three, four, five. Three, four, five. There. Now we actually finished the object. We finished this, uh. This is, uh defeating the Zhang Liao, which is basically our boss. We can now leave and finish the mission. You can also escape with the horse while walking and press the, uh, attack, the strength, strong attack button. <laughs> Victory! And because of how I did this, I'm not going to click play all. Uh, mainly because uh, I don't want to. But yeah. Next up is the Battle of Hulu. Next time, let's play. Uh, but basically, that. Next time, let's play Dinosaurs 8, where we're heading into the Battle of Hulu Gate. See you guys then. Have a great day. Bye bye.